Hello everyone, it's Bird again. Today I'm out at the travel trailer getting ready to do some more work. I'm excited. I'm feeling quite enthused. The sun is shining and the trailer is looking quite beautiful. Hmm, quite wonderful to say indeed. Hmm. Well, let's take a look and see what we can find today while we work on this travel trailer. If you're buying a travel trailer, one thing that you can do to make sure that you're not buying a lemon like me is you can take a look under the side under the bottom of the travel trailer to see if it's in good condition. Just look for signs of handiwork, unprofessional handiwork. If you see screws, screw, screws hanging out of your siding, hmm, that's a good sign of unprofessional handiwork. Look for droopiness, look for duct tape. These are all the things in my professional opinion that I look for when I went to look for it or when I went to get this travel trailer. Didn't turn out too well for me. Gotta do a lot more YouTube research. Let's slide it in the bottom and see how these things look. As you can see, this is a good sign of some really professional handiwork. Someone put some boards under here and put it on top of the on top of the gas line. So when you step down on it, you know, you're putting all your weight on that little pole. Also, as you can see, someone took the time Also, as, also, as you can see, someone took the time and drill right into the frame. They didn't use uh, the original bolts. I forget the name of it. The name of the actual bolts. These guys right here in this corner, I don't know if you can see that, but right down there in the corner is the actual bolts that they used to bolt down the subfloor. It's pretty rusty. I've been quite busy. This used to, this was really tight. But well, now it's all flimsy and loose. Another good thing to look for when you're inspecting under your travel turtle is look for excessive spray foam or any spray foam at that because it's not supposed to be seen on the outside. All right, we're getting ready to go back inside again. Boy, they sure had me fooled. If you can see right here, when I was inspected the travel trailer when I went to go get it, um, I was like, okay, look at this. No rot. This must be good. This is good science right here. But lo and behold, that they put this in here themselves. Can't tell from the door that this is a brand new floor. So my plan of action is today, well not today, but within this week, is to, whew, is to repair this front section, figure out how I'm going to do that, put down a new, put down new insulation, uh another subfloor and then another i guess a, a little panel or something like that over that floor from the original i don't know if you can see that but it looked like they had one eighth of an inch down here over the insulation and then they had another cork uh i don't know what that is a panel or something like that or some uh subfloor over that one inch uh, panel thing um, and that was the original original floor oh let me get this out of the way sorry and that was the original floor in the making so fun times you can see they came over and put down their new floor and that's what I got fooled with when I came in here I was like that seems like a sturdy floor to me look at that it's really hard to find a reference of what the old floor or how the old floor used to sit in this thing because it's all rotted out on the side of this thing. But, you know, fortunately, not 
terrible not terrible in terms of the rock going up now there is some signs of some water damage coming from the seals of the windows but that's an easy fix or so I think well I am going to clean up this area and try to make the best of it you know one thing I can say is in life you got to work on the little things because if you don't take care of the little things then you're gonna have a big problem later on as you can see I've done quite the progress of trying to clean out some of this old dust and old subfloor as you can see I've created a handy dandy cleaning disposable trash chute goes right outside of the trailer right into my handy dandy corrugated box that I pull from the dumpster talk about clever as you can see it's quite clean now I can kind of see what I need to do and what I need to replace let me show you something that I found that I found it to be quite interesting as I was removing the siding from the bottom lip. Uh, there's my dumpster box. Alright guys, so you can see guys and gals, cats and dogs, or squirrels. As you can see they did a quite a handy job under here, under this trailer on this corner. And as I was removing the siding, you can see where Crafty Man Joe came in and screwed some screws in the board, but didn't quite make it right. What we do is uh, we've uh, duct taped the spare tire uh, right on, right onto the flat there. Uh, of course, now uh, this is only temporary unless it works. <laughs> so that's got her done. Uh, remember, uh, until the next time, uh, if the women don't find you handsome, uh, they should at least find you handy. <laughs> So that was literally hanging on nothing. Hanging on for dear life. Oh, bless his soul. That doesn't look too terrible over here. And as you follow the siding down, I got signs of relief because that's not rotted out. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Save me some time. Amen to that. Well, guys, it's been another great adventure. Hopefully, I'll have a little bit more to show you in the next video. Um, I just want to give a big special thanks. You know, much love and everything out there to all those people who are watching this. You know, all 10 people out there. Hopefully, it bring you some entertainment during this COVID-19 pandemic while we're all locked inside. 